Hey guys, and welcome to F1 2017. We're gonna start off with doing a graphics benchmark for the game since it just came out. So let's go to graphics options. These are my graphics options at the moment. We're using the GTX 680 at 1080p. I can put these settings slightly further, but I'll just keep it for that for now. And in terms of advancement, I've gone for high settings because I don't think my GTX 680 is the best graphics card to use for this game, so I'll keep it as high settings. Let's go to benchmark, we'll go for Monaco. We'll go for... What weather should we go for? Clear or heavy rain? Um, let's go for heavy rain. Show FPS counter, yes. Long benchmark test, yes. And yeah, let's do this. I did try this on ultra high settings and I was not getting like 13 FPS so I've decided to go for high settings instead so let's see if the FPS does improve there is actually um, a driver update for F1 2017 for Nvidia users so I just installed it just before downloading the game so the FPS should be a lot better with high settings So far, so good. Okay, we're getting 58 X, uh, FPS, 58, 59, which is decent. We do have different camera angles as well, as it will play throughout the benchmark. So unlike previous games, this is, there's a long benchmark enabled, so I'm not too sure what does that mean. We might be doing multiple laps or something, maybe. Okay, we're staying at around 60 FPS, which is decent, I guess. And the game looks pretty good in high, high settings anyway, so... I'll probably stick to this. Up to 64 FPS now, 66, 68. got Fernando Alonso ahead of us. This is the cockpit camera um, view, which looks pretty cool. It would be really cool if you could drive yourself in the benchmark, but unfortunately that isn't still enabled in the game, so maybe for next year they can do that. Coming around the last few seconds sectors of the lap. And yeah, the car is definitely wider and bigger. You can see how big the tyres are. That's going to be interesting on a track like this, that's for sure. Fastest lap, Lewis Hamilton. But I guess we are, we are only going to do um, one lap. Interesting. And now what happens? I think it tells us uh, the breakdown of the benchmark, I believe. Nope, it's doing it again, okay then. Pretty much looks like the same benchmark we're doing again, so... I think we're starting higher up in the grid, I think that's the only difference, I believe. around 56 FPS at the moment. I don't think it should matter too much whether we start at the back of the grid or at the front, but... Because there's still 20, 20 cars on the grid, so or 18 cars, is it? I think it's 18 cars this year. Since a few teams have left F1. Looking at Paul with gearbox for the whole lap, it seems. I'm liking the HUD though, it looks pretty cool. Pretty similar to F1 2016 bots. You can't really expect them to change it much. I'm looking forward towards the plastic cars, which I will be 
doing videos on all of them, so stay tuned for that. And I'll probably do a classic career mode to start off with, then a normal career mode. Okay, just one, uh, one corner left. I'm guessing we'll do one more benchmark starting at the front of the grid. Then it should give us a breakdown of our FPS. Okay, I think we're starting at the front now, I believe. No, we're starting at the front. Um, pretty much the same spot again. Maybe we're doing three benchmarks or something. I'm not too sure. Oh, it does it three times to like measure the average FPS. Which I guess makes sense. Still getting around 60 FPS, which is good. I am not noticing any um, lag spikes either, so that's good. That's a, that's a big problem I had on F1 2016. Lag spikes. But so far, so good. Obviously, once I start driving myself, then... Oh wow, we actually crashed into the side barrier. That's interesting. <laughs> Maybe that was on purpose just to see the FPS, maybe. I think the rain effects a lot better this year. Seems like so. Obviously we've got the pink Force India. Bit of a weird colour for our car, but I guess it's different, it stands out. Okay, if it does do it one more time, then I'll just quit it out, quit out of it because it's quite clear we're getting around 60 FPS around Monaco and Heavy Rain on high settings, which is pretty good, I get, I'm guessing. Okay, let's see what happens. That should end the benchmark mode, I think. Nope, we're just continuing the game. Great. Okay. Doesn't seem I can cancel it either, which is a bit annoying. Actually, I can. Quit to main menu, there we go. Hopefully, it does give us a breakdown of our FPS. Maybe. Okay, there we go. Okay. Obviously, we're using a 3930K CPU, GTX 680, 16 gigs of RAM. Total frames 179, minimum FPS 58, average 58, and maximum 61. I think that was pretty good, I guess. Number of tests 4. So I think it replays it over over again until you cancel out of it. So that was a graphics benchmark for F1 2017. And yeah, um, I'll end the video there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like, share it with your friends, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.